Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to be talking about how a police radar gun can actually calculate the speed of a moving vehicle. Uh, it does it by a principle known as the Doppler effect. Uh, the Doppler effect is something that even if you're not familiar with what it is, uh, it's something that you've actually heard in practice. Uh, a great example is if you've ever heard a car driving past you. Uh, if it's driving towards you, you'll hear you know, one sound from the engine, but then as soon as it passes you, you'll hear the sound, the pitch of the engine actually drop, even though the engine isn't changing at all. Why is that? Well, what's happening is the sound coming from the engine, it's a sound, you know, and so it has a certain frequency for the pitch of that sound. When the car is driving towards you, that sound wave that it's emitting actually gets compressed to a certain extent due to not just the sound of the engine, but also the movement of the vehicle. That's kind of compressing the sound wave, which is leading to a higher pitch. When the car passes you, what happens is that sound wave, rather than getting compressed, is now getting stretched a little bit. And when it gets stretched, it'll now translate to a lower frequency signal. And that lower frequency signal will translate to your ear as a lower pitch. That's why you'll hear the sound of a car change when it passes you. Uh, this is called the Doppler effect. Uh, it's the same thing that astronomers use to measure the expansion of the universe. They can measure like a star or a galaxy if it's supposed to be emitting light at a certain frequency. They can measure the Doppler shift of the light coming out of it to measure how far, you know, how fast this planet is moving away from us or maybe moving towards us. Uh, this is a way that you know astronomers can measure the expansion of the universe. It's the exact same thing that uh, police radar guns use to measure the speed of a moving vehicle. So let's take a look at a little bit of the physics and some of the math behind what's actually going on. So uh, here's the way it works. When you have a radar gun like this, uh, this is a handheld one. They also make dash mount ones that sit on the dash of your car and they're easier to use when driving. Uh, for this example, I'm going to use a handheld one. The idea is that uh, when you squeeze the trigger and tell it to transmit, a radio wave will then be sent out of the antenna this way. It travels out at the speed of light. It's then going to hit my target, which is going to be another car. It's going to then reflect off that car and travel back to the radar gun, again at the speed of light, and it's going to be picked up here. The frequency is going to change depending on how fast that car is moving towards the radar gun or away. The radar gun is then going to measure that change in frequency, do a little bit of math, and then convert that change of frequency into a speed. Let's take a look at how it works. So the idea is um, it's going to be transmitting a signal like this. Uh, in this case, this is a stalker gun, so it transmits at 34.7 gigahertz, right? So that's going to be the frequency of the signal that's being transmitted like this. Uh, that signal is then going to hit a target vehicle and it's going to reflect back. This red frequency is the uh, reflected frequency. You'll notice that the frequency here, how many cycles per second, is identical to the signal that's being transmitted because our car here is stationary, right? So the car is not moving, so the frequency of the reflected uh, signal is the same. Now let's say our car is actually driving towards the radar gun. What happens is the radar gun is transmitting its signal and then the reflected signal actually gets compressed due to the movement of the vehicle and you'll see a higher frequency signal like this. Now on the flip side, let's say that the car is driving away from the radar gun. When this happens, the radar gun will be sending out its normal 34.7 gigahertz signal. Uh, that signal, when it gets reflected back, is going to slightly get stretched out due to the movement of the vehicle moving away from the radar gun. So that's kind of what's happening with the physics. The a radar detector is going to, or not the radar detector, the radar gun is comparing the transmitted signal frequency with the reflected frequency. So let's take a look at some math and how that works. So uh, with this gun, we know it's a stalker gun. It's designed for 34.7. So the original frequency that's being transmitted is 34.7 gigahertz, or 34 billion 700 million hertz. Really big number, so to simplify things, uh, instead of writing all this out, we just say 34.7 gigahertz, right? Okay. Now let's say for our example that uh, we're going to be clocking a car that's traveling at 65 miles per hour. So a car that's moving at 65 miles per hour, the reflected signal that's coming back from that car is going to be 34 billion 700 million 6,713 hertz. This right here is going to be the change you know, in frequency that's due to not the radar gun, but due to the movement of the vehicle. So what we can do is you know, basically calculate that. That's what the radar gun is looking at. It wants to know the change in frequency due to the movement of the vehicle. So the change in frequency is going to be the difference between the reflected frequency 
and the original frequency. It's this number right here is going to be the change in frequency. So it does that. Reflected frequency minus original frequency is 6,713 hertz. Cool. So now the radar gun knows that. What it can do is to calculate the speed. It just plugs everything into a really, really simple equation. It says the speed of the target vehicle is equal to the change in frequency, this number here, divided by the original frequency that I was transmitting at, which is 34.7 gigahertz, times the speed of light. Okay? We plug in all the numbers and we see we have a pretty small number here, 6,713, divided by 34 billion, so it's a very, very tiny number, this right here, times the speed of light. So what we're looking at is basically a very small fraction of the speed of light. And it's a fraction of the speed of light that's due to the difference in the moving vehicle. So the speed of light uh, is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, or 671 mile, million miles per hour. So we've got this number here, 671 million miles per hour. Plug it all in, punch it in the calculator, and you wind up getting 65 miles per hour. And that's really all a radar gun is doing. It's taking a look at the change in frequency due to the movement to the vehicle, um, you know, noticing what that change in frequency is, plugging it into a simple calculator, and then displaying that number here on the back of the radar gun. That's it. Uh, there can be more stuff that it can do, like for example, if it wants to tell you the direction that that vehicle is moving, it can take a look and see, okay, is this number, we're noticing like, if the car is driving towards us, this frequency is going to go up, right? If the car is driving away from us, the frequency is going to go down. If that's the case, the change in frequency, if the uh, frequency has gone up minus the original frequency, this is going to be a positive number. Okay? Uh, if the reflected frequency goes down, we have a smaller number minus the original frequency, this is going to be a negative number. So if a radar gun has the capability to tell you directional information, it's basically looking at the change in frequency and seeing if it's a positive or negative number. Uh, if it's positive, it'll say that vehicle is coming towards us because the frequency is going up. If this number is negative, the frequency is going down and therefore that vehicle is moving away from us. That's it. So all the radar gun is doing is just taking a look at the change in frequency and then just doing a little bit of math. Very simple. So now you know. Cool. So that's how a radar gun works. Uh, next, we're going to be talking about LiDAR guns, and we're going to be going into a bunch of other stuff. So you can take a look in the video description, and as I do additional videos, uh, you can take a look at, you know, part two or three, or however I'm going to wind up, honestly, setting this up. And so kind of follow-up videos will be down in the video description. So you can also subscribe if you haven't already, uh, like this video, and uh, yeah, more to come. So, awesome. Thanks for watching.